OS1 does everything that urine stain remover does on steroids. Okay? They dialed up OS1 from the owner's son's mouth, the chemist, as hot as they could dial it and be safe for us to use still. It's the most potent, powerful product they have for stain removal, period. I'll tell you what we do, okay? I'm just going to tell you real world what I'm doing. OS1 and molecular modifier keep on my truck because we still use molecular modifier in situations. If I'm in your house and you have dogs and they're, they're present, and I know they're going to be there after we're done, and I think you're, I make a judgment call that you're not uh, responsible with your pets, I'm not going to use OS1 in your house because I don't want them dogs walking on that carpet when we're done because it's going to burn their pets. If you're a pullback carpet that had urine on it, this is urine salt, that's, that's pretty severe when you see the salt on the back of it like that. That means it's when they went over and over and it's been going on for a while when you see it that bad. Now here's our unseen problem is that we don't see with the odor, you know, smell with the odor or see with the pulling the carpet back. We got contamination in the tough vine, we got contamination in the adhesive, and we are looking <coughs> into the structure. Okay, into the tack strip, into the floor, into the drywall. Okay? So we gotta keep all this in mind if we're gonna get that odor completely out of the house. This is what looks like underneath the light. It's like mustard. Or like a neon. Okay? Because you're gonna find the urine deposit with that black light. What's the blue? Optical right here. Correct. You're gonna use your black light to ascertain when that yellow is on the carpet if somebody used an optical brightener. It'll look blue. Urine's going to be yellowish green, okay? Gone. But they let the pet back in next week. And the pet starts using the restroom again. And then the homeowner calls you up and says, hey, John, you never took care of our problem because light it's got, it, it smells in here. And that's when you come back in with the owner and say, okay, I want you to hold my site map for me, please. You don't care. We're going to go back in the room. We had, we had a spot right here last time, right? Now we got one over here. Well, you couldn't have done it. Well, remember, we had a spot here. Now we got one there. We got one over here now that wasn't here. You're making your case. Hey, the odor's back because the dog still, or the cat still coming in. Well, the site map is for your benefit. For your because benefit. once you take the black light off and turn the lights on, you're not, nine times, not half the time, you're not going to see the urine spot. Which you not show the customer? Yes, you're going to say, this is where I found the urine. Come on this room, let's, let's yeah. walk this unless okay. you want them, Unless you want them to walk with you as you're scanning the thing and say, oh, see, there's one there. Mm. But that's the part that you want to remember and capture because once you turn the light back on, where was that spot? Mm. You know, it's mean, somewhere around here somewhere. So that's why we have a slide that shows where you would take a piece of chalk in the dark and just make a yeah. circle around it, yeah. right? That's. You know what, you know how important it is when you do a rug inspection, they were talking about 20, 30 minutes ago, pre-inspect the rugs before you drop them off. It falls in the same category when you're dealing with pets in a house, doing a pre-inspection of their carpet in their house, because now you're doing the same protection in a way on yourself as you do on that pre-inspection on that oriental rug, because their pain is to come in and clean their carpet and take care of the odors. So by us taking the light in there with them and the hydro sensor, whatever, is showing them everywhere, especially if the pet's still there, we're, we're, we're protecting ourselves. If you when we go into a we do modular homes too, mobile home. Uh, there's a couple communities we do that just double wide mobile homes. They sell them, they buy them back, you know. So we do. When I go in one of those, it's empty, and we have a pet problem. It's not severe like that table that was all brown, right? Just we can tell there's urine th throughout the whole place, right? What I do is I go in with the moisture meter, and we find all the areas, the black light, we mark them, and then we inject the OS1. Uh, there's a garden variety of injection. You can do an injection, or if I'm on a time system, I just take my multi sprayer. I got the multi sprayer spray water, spray water. I stick it through the carpet and I just <coughs> spray down an area. It's just like I do an area circle, right? Yeah. And I leave it. I go to the next one. Okay? I'm just hitting all the areas throughout the whole place. We vacuum first, but that's the second thing we do after we vacuum is treat all the areas with OS1. Yeah. So then we come in, we pre treat, and we, we're rinsing. Now, when I'm going over them areas I'm rinsing with OS ones in it, I I quickly go over it. I don't want it to suck it out, but I don't want to leave my carpet squishy either. I want to leave that in the carpet though. There's no residue, folks. 
It oxidizes, it dries, and it dries to a crystal. Okay? If you don't believe me, if you buy some OS1, take some OS1, pour it on a plate, a clear plate, let it dry, and then take your finger and rub on it. There's no, there's no residue. So anyways, I'm leaving the OS1 in the carpet. It's eating up the odors, destroying it, <coughs> and then it dries to a, because molecular modifier does a great job with enzymes, but we do have a little bit of residue with the molecular modifier. So I could have some resoiling issues, even though I love using it. That's how I, the two products are a little bit different. Uh, the OS1, I have no residue. Go ahead. So with the, you said you still rinse the spots, you just don't get all of it out. I leave it, yeah, I rinse it just enough where I'm not leaving the carpet and yeah. my terms squishy. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you had to clean it aggressively because it's filthy, filthy, would you reapply the OS1? Yes. Okay. We post pre, okay, when, before we walk out, we take our multi-sprayer, call it uh, electric multi-sprayer, we spray all the carpet, just like I like this, and then we take our grooming machine, groom over, because I want to brush that down into the tubs, and then we walk away. How long does it take to dry after that, though? I'm just post spraying it down. I mean, it's not like I'm drenching. I'm just doing the post spray, and then we're brushing the fibers. It takes a typical. I tell clients, our carpet's going to dry within four to six hours, eight hours. I tell people 24 hours to dry. That way, if it dries at 10, I'd be seated next week. I quit using that. Really? Because it's cut my labor. It's a tenth of labor. I can leave it in the carpet. I don't have to flush it out. I don't have to go through that mess anymore. Now, if I've got, let's back up though. If I got severe contamination, you're going to want to use an OSR. But on jobs where you used to have some urine, uh, 90 percent of our jobs, let's say that, where it's just normal urine jobs, you're going to use OS1. I mean, I hate that. I hate bringing anything up so much because I hate when I like to exceed people's expectation and wow you. So I'm sitting here to tell you how much I love it. So I'm building such an expectation on this OS1 up here in this room. I've kind of messed it up for myself. But I, that's how, because I'm the type of person that if I think I'm, you're going to be ecstatic with that carp, I'll say, well, we're going to do the best we can because I want to wow you. And if I tell you, oh, you're going to love it, how, how do I wow that? You know? So um, I, I can't say that, but I was fine. <laughs> we, go ahead. If you use OS1 when you still had odor afterwards, are you going to use molecular for something more extreme or no? Like this? I'm going back. I have you guys. This is, ladies, gentlemen, this is a strong statement to be saying. But ever since we started using OS one, it's. I'm trying to think of a callback. It's 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 just changed the game for me. All right, small deposits. They're telling you use molecular modifier and odorzyme. I'm gonna tell you if it's just nylon carpet, it's not wool. Use OS one. It's going to destroy the odor. It's going to destroy the stains. It's a one-stop shop. The OS1 you, that cuts all that labor out now, it's gone. OS1 is going to remove the stain, and it's going to put a fragrance behind where it's going to kill any odor. Does anybody do any low moisture cleaner in this cleaning in this room? Anybody low moisture cleaning? Does anybody do any low moisture cleaning? You do. We use OS1. We do. It, it, it's just. <laughs> We add, we take brush, and, we take the brush and bonnet, and I add OS1 to it. 16 ounces of brush and bonnet, 16 ounces of OS1 in my two-gallon multi-sprayer, and that's what we, that's what we do low moisture with that. It takes, it, it just does what I'm. But the OS, okay, you go into a room now, okay, change of now, now we're the day of OS1, right? You go into a house, you've got urine contamination. You're gonna go in. I just want you to inject the carpet if it's bad. Okay, let me by bad, you got areas that you can tell the pets went and it, you know it's a bad area. I want you to go in, I want you to inject it, or I want you to drench the area real good and let it let it settle, let it dwell, okay? And then clean the carpet. When you're cleaning the carpet in them areas, I just want you to go lightly over it if you, if you can, all right? Lightly. I don't want it to be squishy. I just want you to go over it, clean it too. I want you to steam it. Right. No, clean it. Okay. And then in, when you're done, I want you to go back over the carpet and lightly mist everything. With OS1. With OS1, I apologize. And you won't have, I haven't had callbacks. So it removes the stain? Stain and, and odor. Oh, Destroys, it oxidizes the but odor. But it doesn't remove the stain like as you're cleaning, like it, that's what takes time? Do you see instant results or is it going to no. take down the drive? Okay. I can just tell you an experience here. Uh, to the, 5,500 square foot home. The downstairs I did with the OS1, the upstairs I did with the modifier. It was a test for CTI. Okay? We scrubbed the carpet. We treated it with OS1 first. We scrubbed it. 
and we rinsed it out. I went upstairs, scrubbed the carpet upstairs, and rinsed it out with a treatment molecular modifier. I came back downstairs, and all my urine spots were coming up. I see them everywhere. All I did was take the OS1 again, because I remember I post spray, and it was a Frege carpet. You know Frege carpet everybody here? Okay? It was a light color Frege. I took my OS1, I sprayed it down with my multi sprayer, and I took my brush pro and I scrubbed it in, and that carpet looked brand new, and there was no stains that came back on me. Because so I called you the owner. If you do a pre-spray with it, you definitely can't get close. Because we're rinsing. You follow me? We're going back over it lightly, rinsing. So, yes, it, the stains come up on you, but I did a post-spray. I agitated it in with the rake. You do the same thing, but, what you know, you it's just called a counter-rotating brush, CRB. But a rake does the same thing. I mean, uh, CRBs are just a, probably popular because they cut down labor. But, you know, your rake will do the same exact thing. I probably wouldn't be too nice now if I just use this ring and not the CRD. <laughs> but uh, at least want to make sure we agitate it down into the carpet. And I've had no st stains come back on me. And no other pre sprays except for OS1 on, on a job like that. No, your pre spray. Yeah, pre spray, normal pre spray. Oh, you're going back over with normal pre spray for like general. Okay, I, first, I'm going to be confused in this because I have. First thing I'm going to just go to the, to, in the room and I'm going to find all the urine I can and, and inject with the OS1. Right. Okay? After I do that, I'm going to pre-spray my carpet with my, my normal pre-spray I'd use okay. there was no urine. Yeah. And then I'm going to rinse it out. Okay? And after I rinse, I'm going to post-spray with the OS1 again. Yeah. I know it seems laborious, but it, it's almost like a whitener, too, if you will. Right? Yeah. It, it, it takes care of the odor and the, the smell and the stains. Then you have it went over that I know that I think I told you guys OS1 is a silver bullet. It's going to change the world. It's going to make everything better. <laughs> but... Uh, um, well, I'll tell you, I just, <laughs> I, gosh, I, it's just done well for me. I'm very, I'm very blessed that I, I, I can use the word blessed uh, that I've been really happy with OS1. It's, it's, been, it's been a game changer. I do a lot of bio cleanups at a property, okay, when they have, it's a senior living. People fall and get blood on the carpet, spills, they get accidents like they have diarrhea, it's a small trail. And I became so. I'll go with my OS1. First thing I do when I go in that apartment, because I'm going into the sprayer, before I bring my portable in, and I spray it on there. And it just starts working, okay? On blood and on feces. So We've been using molecular that way. Why? Well, we were using molecular yeah. that way because it was right. too strong. Yeah, well, the OS1 does a cleaning for me. On deals like that, I use, okay, on odor. It's diarrhea, okay? On blood. Just because one time I saw a job that had diarrhea with some blood, and, it, and I got some on the blood, and it just started breaking it up and foaming. I thought, I'm gonna see, it extracted right out. It did great for me, so it's made me lazy. Or when I go in, I saw a late, it's just my, my silver bullet for me, you know what I mean? But, uh, that, but what I love it for is stains and odors for pets, okay? Fecal stains, urine stains, and odor for pets. Okay, and that's the, the strongest that you're going to get. Huh? That's the strongest you're going to get is in the OS1. The OS1 is a liquid form of OSR just on steroids. Yeah. And like I told you, I'm about to repeat myself. The owner's son, when we brought out, they said that stuff is dialed as high as they can take it.